Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for being here today. And thanks, of course, uh, to Ralph. He gets me to come back to Saskatchewan every chance he gets. And I'm always happy to spend time here every chance I get. So thank you for having me. And thank you, as always, for an incredibly warm welcome. Uh, I also want to highlight uh, that it's a real pleasure to be here today with uh, Lawrence McCauley, our Minister of Agriculture and Agri-Food, uh, who was uh, very helpful as, uh, as we were uh, uh, talking through the uses and, uh, and impacts of various uh, challenges on a farm. Uh, Lawrence was a seed, potato and dairy farmer before he entered politics. Um, he really understands and deeply gets uh, both the challenges and the opportunities uh, that our farmers are facing every single day and week. Earlier this morning, I had a chance to meet with the Lewis family, three generations of Saskatchewan farmers, fourth one coming along, growing and harvesting a bunch of different crops. Yeah, Brendan wasn't mentioned in my speech, so I have to, I have to <laughs> shout out to that fourth generation. Uh, growing and harvesting a bunch of different crops, including canola, on uh, about 11,000 acres just down the road from here. I wanted to get a sense of how big 11,000 acres were, and uh, someone told me it was equivalent to about a third of the city of Regina, so that's a, a significant chunk of land. Uh, at the Lewis's farm, Don, Todd, Rod, and Brendan showed me around their operation. It was fascinating to see the kind of equipment and the new technology they use every day. The constant drive to experiment, to try new things, is something that we recognized just last month in our budget. We're investing in agriculture and agri-food agri because we know it has a real potential to grow, if you'll pardon the pun, uh, and create more good, well-paying jobs for Canadian farmers. Nous savons à quel point les agriculteurs travaillent fort. C'est pourquoi nous sommes convaincus que d'ici 2025, nous serons en mesure d'atteindre la cible ambitieuse d'exporter annuellement 75 milliards de dollars d'excellents produits que nous cultivons ici, chez nous. Ces exportations sont importantes parce qu'un plus grand accès aux marchés mondiaux donnera aux agriculteurs canadiens plus de chances de réussir, plus de chances de bâtir une vie meilleure pour leurs familles et de renforcer les communautés agricoles partout au Canada. And canola, as I saw firsthand today, is one of the export crops that deserves our support. It already accounts for more than $10 billion in exports, and the world can't get enough of this made-in-Canada crop. As one example, last year, as, as uh, Ralph mentioned, government and industry worked together to ensure that Canada's canola farmers can continue to export to China. That's a market worth $2 billion in canola exports every year. And I want to take a moment to tell you just how that deal came together. Our former Minister of Trade, current Foreign Minister, Christia Freeland, is the daughter of a canola farmer, and she took some of the canola that her dad had grown out of his farm in Peace River, Alberta. She took it with her in a little baggie to China uh, to show the quality of what Canadian farmers produced. I was there at the dinner when she whipped it out in front of, uh, in front of the Premier and said, you know, this is really good stuff. Um, and she underscored the fact that Canada stands behind its farmers and the world-class crops we grow and harvest. And working together, industry and government, we reached an agreement with China. That gives, one that gives our canola farmers the kind of stable, predictable access to the Chinese market that they'll need to be able to plant next year's crop. And maybe even think about how they'll hand off their farms to their own kids someday. The work that our government is doing, the investments that we're making, and the trade deals we're negotiating, they do make a difference in the lives of farming families like the Lewises and the other hardworking women and men who are here with us today. We make these investments in Canada's farmers because every day you make an investment in us in making sure that we have good, healthy food to eat and giving us food that we can trust, food that's nutritious and safe to share with the people we love, in building strong and resilient communities, communities like Gray, that are the heart and soul of this country. People like Todd Lewis and all the farmers he represents through the Agricultural Producers Association of Saskatchewan, they're up with the sun, they work hard all day, and they ask for nothing but a fair deal and a thank you. And that's where I want to end today. With thanks to the Lewis family for sharing their morning with me and to all the farmers here and across the country who are so and rightly proud 
of your rural roots. We should be proud. We're proud of them too.